Hi, I'm Karin. Welcome to my kitchen. I don't know about you guys, but I get so excited about vegetables in the spring that sometimes I overbuy. We're going to do two different pureed vegetable soups. You can actually use the puree for other things as well. We're going to puree our vegetables on their own and use some for our soup and set some aside for other uses. So if later on you want to incorporate some asparagus into your rice and beans or make a carrot pasta, the work's already done. As much as I love soup, I don't want it every single day for every this meal. It's all about versatility. We're actually going to use some leeks in with our asparagus soup today. It's springtime, they're both in season, and I think the flavors are going to really play well together. This is one dirty leek. When you're cooking with leeks, it's important to wash them really well. We don't want to chomp down on some earthy nutrients. I recommend cutting it into sections and then slicing it to the center, just like this. We'll let this soak while we're preparing our asparagus. So what we're going to do is actually just blanch it and shock it and then puree it as is, so it's just plain asparagus. Once it's pureed, we'll add our leeks and chicken stock to make it into soup. In the meantime, we're getting our blanching water up to a boil and adding salt. Make sure you have ice water close at hand. Because we chopped these up, this will only take a minute. As soon as they reach their maximum green and are just tender, we'll strain out the water and get them on ice. While they're cooling, we'll get our carrots ready. Cooking the carrots in the oven will be a really good way to intensify the flavor. I'm just lightly peeling the carrots here. Once our carrots are roughly chopped, we'll cook them with just a few drops of water and olive oil to keep them from sticking, and we'll cover them with foil. Our carrots are uh, all snuggled up so in here. So our carrots are in the oven, now we can work on that asparagus. We're just going to blend this asparagus, or puree it. I'm adding some water to blend, but try not to add too much. We want to get the asparagus as smooth as we can without overheating it. Just draining the asparagus puree through this um, mesh sieve. It's not too fine we though. We want to keep some of the pulp, which will give our soup body. We'll just remove any remaining larger fibers. Now onto the leek. I'm just cutting this really thinly right here. We just have a little bit of olive oil here in this pot and we're going to sweat our leeks. Once our leeks are nice and tender, we'll add just a little bit of chicken stock to them. We're going for a gentle cook here without any coloring. We're just going to cover these leeks with a little bit of our chicken stock that we made from our last whole chicken. Now we keep cooking until they're really tender. I'm going to also add just a splash of this Gruner from my friend Erin from New France Wines. Oops. Once my heavy pour cooks off and the leeks are tender, I'll blend them with the stock. It smells just heavenly. Leeks can be a little fibrous and we just want them here for flavor, so we're straining them in a finer mesh. Now this beautiful aromatic liquid is ready for the asparagus. Just about added about a cup and a little more right there and now the fun of seasoning begins i think the mark of a great pureed soup is that it tastes like the vegetable it's about that's profound i know i want to taste the soup and think wow that's the best carrot it lived its best and life. the soup is just the pinnacle of that process if you want a thicker soup you can add a natural starch like some kind of potato um, you could add a little bit of um, flour to this i want to keep these soups light and vibrant for spring so we're going to season it as is before I even taste it, I'm adding a little bit of salt. It would be really nice even with just some salt, but I am going to add just a hair, not a hair, I'm going to add a little bit of white pepper. Choosing the right pepper can help open the flavor of a soup. I'm going with white pepper for the asparagus because it has that kind of mineral edge to it. Tiny bit of white pepper. That can, you really want to be careful with this though. It can be a little overwhelming. We're going to add some lemon to the soup, but I would recommend only adding this right when you're about to serve it. It can do weird things with greens sometimes. Lemon is a great way to add acid to a spring or summer vegetable soup. It's bright, tastes like sunshine. As long as you don't overdo it, it'll really enhance the flavor that's already there. The last thing I'm going to add though is just a little bit of butter. The asparagus and leek is so kind of green that it could stand a little bit extra fat. It'll give it a um, silkier mouthfeel. I just used my immersion blender here to blend it in. All right, our carrots are ready, so now we can puree those. With just a little bit of chicken stock, this is silky smooth. You could also use veg stock. I'm freezing most of the puree, but I'll season a small portion of soup. I'm adding some salt even before I taste it. In order to keep us reminded of the natural sweetness of carrot, I'm going to add just a bit of brown sugar. It'll just kind of give that a nice boost, but not so much that it tastes sweet. 
I'm using cayenne pepper because it's such a warm heat and it will blend well with a carrot. It'll be unobtrusive. If it had a color, well, it is actually orange. I was gonna say it would be orange. But the one last thing that this needs is, you all know how I feel about acid. We just want it to um, kind of make it lively again, like you're eating a fresh carrot. You can decide whether or not you wanna add fat to your soup based on the natural texture that it has. I really love the texture where this is at as is, and there's a little bit of fat that was in the chicken stock, so I'm not even gonna add butter, but we are going to top this off with some creme fraiche. Now that both soups are done, we're ready to garnish. I like to think about garnish as a way to enhance an herb, an oil, something crunchy like a nut or a bread and not to distract from it. That's some um, carroty soup right there. Playing off of the cool green, I splashed the asparagus leek with cilantro, pine nut, and parsley oil. The carrot is luxuriating with a dollop of creme fraiche, parsley, and crushed croutons. As a bonus, we have two beautiful purees to use later. Today we're doing something very different. We have this gruner that's going to go beautifully with the asparagus And then soup. we have this viognier to go with the carrot. Be sure to see what my friend Erin has to say about these wines. They're going to be beautiful with both of the soups. I'm Karin, thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. Story of my life, I'm always dropping stuff back Not there. Not crazy rolling, but you know, boiling. And then, Add a good amount of salt to it. Really good. <clears throat>